Welcome back to the series on this 37 sensor kit from Key Studios. In this video we're going to be looking at the line tracking sensor. And uh, if you're just joining us, uh, here's the, the kit that we're going through. Uh, nice little sensor kit, has uh, an online wiki. Here's a diagram of, of the sensors that correspond with where they are so you can keep track of them. So the line tracker goes right in there. Okay, so the first thing we're going to do here is hop over to the computer, and this is the wiki. Um, they have a picture, oh, that is the picture, picture, specifications, uh, connection diagram, and some sample code. So uh, while we have this diagram up, we have three uh, wires that we're going to use, power, ground, and signal. And it's pretty clearly marked on here, signal, uh, plus in the middle, and ground. So we'll put ground in over here, and plus is in the middle. If I can get it in there. Signal. Okay, so the, the power is going to go into the 5 volt, and ground is right next to it. And then the purple one is going to go into digital pin 3, which is the fourth one. We'll just snap that on there. Okay, so now we're ready to uh, load up the software. Back over on the computer, and um, you could uh, copy paste this uh, from the Pi. Uh, you could also connect your Arduino directly into your computer, and it would look pretty much uh, pretty much the same. But um, what I'm doing, I'm VNCing into my Pi, and and I have uh, Arduino IDE loaded on there. If you want to learn how to do that, I, I do have a couple other videos uh, I will put down in, in the description of this video. So I'm going to open the Arduino IDE. Okay, and if you're following along, you would uh, copy and paste the, the sketch in, in here. And I'll, I'll have a link in the description. Uh, I'm going to just open it up from my Raspberry Pi. Close the original one. Okay, and then. Okay, so we're just setting up the the, the serial monitor here, and uh, we're reading pin three, and then waiting a half a second. Okay, so what I need to do here is upload it to my to my Uno. So uh, you're always going to check these two things that you you have the board set to the Uno, which I do and then uh, your port is set to whatever uh, serial port, USB port, you have uh, the UNO connected to. So that's all correct, so I'm going to go ahead and upload, and it's going to compile it, and then it's going to reboot the UNO, and, and then uh, the, the code will take effect as soon as it reboots. Okay, so it says it's done. I'm going to open the serial monitor, So it's writing a 1. So let's go check out the sensor here. Okay, so I've got a little test piece here. So let's see if this works. Oops, wrong way. Okay, when I'm over the white, it's a zero. I'm over the black, it's a one. White, black. Okay, so what you would do is you'd put this on the bottom of your wheeled robot and put this line on the floor. And then you would generally have two of them. So, so you'd stay within this line. And as soon as it, it detects a zero, then you would correct. So depending on which of the two is uh, off the, the line, you would steer your robot to correct it. 
So there you go, we have our line sensor all wired up, ready to do some fun things with it.